All right, so I came to the auto sound place. I'm gonna get some connectors and some 15 gauge, no, not 15 gauge, 15 feet wire, uh, copper, and maybe some butt connectors. And then I'll just splice into the rear speaker um, wires that I showed you here on the car. Feet, that's there, good. There, there are maybe 16 feet, maybe okay. 70 feet. Okay, that's nice. So, yeah, we got some speaker wire here. I'm not sure what is negative, what is positive. I'm not sure of this, but he's going to give me some. Um, let me see what he gives me here. Now, the thing is. This one says negative positive. You can just put this yeah, on yeah, any side. No, no, negative and post. Ne uh, the positive is gonna be square. Oh, okay. And negative is. Did you see? Round it out. It's round. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is square. It's mm -hmm. square. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And this is the connector, and then I can heat shrink this, or just oh, okay. No, it's just a clamp. Clip, mm -hmm. Clamp, and that's it. Okay. You don't need a stream and uh, a steam goes. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So I got some um, speaker wire and some uh, butt clips, uh, butt joints. And we're gonna install the speakers. All right, guys. So I'm here. Um, it's raining out, but um, I got the wire hanging here. Got some wire scrippers, and I'm gonna butt connect this to the 15 foot wire that I just bought, and then we'll go in here we'll run the cable down in here through the seat all right so i let the seat down so you guys can see where i'm going to be running it to basically i'm trying to run it i'm probably just going to zip tie it up here somewhere and um Maybe go through the frame or go just go this direction. Just about that much because it's going to be a butt connector. So there we go right there. And then we're going to butt connect it to this right here. Negative and a positive. So let me get the butt connector. That would be best if I just take this off, of course. I didn't know why I didn't think about that. Just take this off and then do the butt connector that way. So we're gonna take the negative side here. You don't want to stick that too far in there. Just enough to where it's inside the metal piece there. It might have a, have a stopper there, but. All right, so. Negative side on the speaker wire. I'm gonna push it in. I'm gonna crimp this down as well. All right, so I'm gonna hold it in there. This way, I uh, don't drop it and it's already in place. All right. All right. So we got the negative already in and now we got to do the positive side I'm gonna strip a little bit more off this just a little bit all right so it's in I'm gonna take the other side and do the same thing So we're connected here, negative, positive. I'll put that on. 
I have some tape for this. I'm gonna put some tape on it and um, tape it together. So I got my um, I got my uh, adjusters for my coilovers. Right up underneath here, the little speaker wire. Got the speaker wire coming out here. Excuse my car, it's been raining off and on, so it's gonna be dirty in here. All right, so you're gonna lift this seat up like that. And then you're gonna pull this right here, pull that. Continue to yank it up. But you gotta be careful because there's little fasteners in here that can come out right here. The metal piece can stay inside the so you gotta be careful. So I'm gonna pull this up and clip this right here at the bottom. These clips usually can just come up if you just pull them up. See this thing here it comes right up. Alright, so we got that out. This is what it's gonna look like. Get all that dust out of there. Now you gotta take this one apart. It comes right off actually. And then let me show you guys how it looks down there. There's a red clip right there. You're gonna take it out with this thing here, this pry tool. So over here we have this really long panel here. It's extremely long. Pull this out and just leave it. You know, it'll give you a little bit more leverage. So here we go right here. And the speaker wires are inside here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this zip tie right here. You're gonna see some wires here. And the wires you're looking for is the blue and black and the tan wire that's wrapped around each other. Remember, the wires that's like this, those are the speaker wires. There's a clip right here. Go ahead and take it. Alright, guys, so I, I push this out. That little clip is out now. It's right here. It's giving me enough. I couldn't stick my hand in here. So I'm going to pull the seat up just a little bit. Here on this side, the wire is going to be that blue and black wire and that little tan wire that's wrapped around each other. If you can see that closely, you can see that blue. If you go to an auto sound shop place, they're going to tap into these speakers to get the signal for the outline converter. So you're, you're you're better off doing it this way anyways. So if you just want those rear deck speakers, you're gonna have to go into these. So I'm gonna cut this white one and then I'm gonna splice into it. All right guys, so right here, there's a piece of tape that's holding all these wires together. I, I need to get more of the speaker wires, so I'm gonna cut that tape. I need all of it. I need mostly all of this to come out. All right? Let's try to get inside this white one right here, this white wire, or beige, or whatever color this is. If you can, you wanna cut in the middle trying to get it to separate. I gotta try to get this in here. If I can, that would be good. All right guys, so I wanted to show you guys this. These are not what you wanna put on here because you probably can break the wire. I just wanna clip it. You see, I just made that little incision to expose that wire. 
You don't want to, and it's a copper wire too, so it's good stuff in here. So you want to do that to this one and run the positive on there. Wrap it in. Please forgive me if you can't see this. I'm trying my best. All right, obviously you would want to solder this and all that stuff, but I don't have any solder. <clears throat> so what I'm basically going to do here is have to place the electrical tape around this, get a good connection, which I do have. Use some electrical tape, and then I'm going to use some of this, uh, some of this friction tape. All right. All right, so now for the negative speaker, which is the blue and the black. So you wanna get enough of this to wrap it around there. I'm gonna tie this together. And get you some copper wire. Copper, copper wire is the best for these speaker wires. You normally, I mean, I don't have the tools to do this, but obviously what I gotta do is do it this way. So, there we go. All right, time for the negative to go on. And if you got this far, hit that like button. This way, everybody in the cruise community, whoever wants to put speakers in their car, or install rear deck speakers now they can see a video that shows you how to do it and basically this is how they're going to do it at the sound shop so and um, if you haven't noticed that um, right now this, this speaker should be ready to go as far as it should be able to turn on and be getting some sound and the reason why I didn't go through the amp because the amp you're not going to be able to adjust the, the right and the left fade out and all that stuff. But this is how we got to do it, guys. I mean, you don't have to watch this entire video to do this. You can just grab the um, the wires that I showed you here and you can go ahead and install it. I'll do, I'll do a sound test right now. So you can just do this on the other side as well. Here. And... Um, I'm gonna wrap it with some friction tape. All the way up. All right guys, so the speakers do work. You know the back rear speakers in these cars are not as loud as they should be because they make sure that the front is, um, they make sure the front is where you can hear the most sound. Something with the sound thing, man. You have to look into it. If you can, just look up why rear speakers are lower than the front speakers. All right, so. I'm gonna turn the car. This is a factory speed. I don't have my sub here. As you can hear right now, you can barely hear anything out of the rear right now because I have it on just that door speaker. And it's pretty low. But I put it on this side, you can hear a little bit more. Which don't sound like much because I don't got it really loud. I want to copyright it. But the rear speaker in the back is really, it's almost, you can't hear it because this speaker right here is on the stoop. But it is working. Nothing significant because I don't have all the speakers put together. I'm trying to find something that I won't get copyrighted on. But this is the rear with the rear deck. So they do sound good. Most definitely sound good. That's the rear speakers with the the highest sound really good on those power bass. You can hear it from here. 
it's a radio. I haven't listened to the radio in ten years, man. Like, I, I I got annoyed with radio, so um, I just used to listen to YouTube music. Um, let's take the treble out of there. All treble out. Capella Gray on the way. I got undecided for Chris Brown. Right now, let's get it in with Bryson Tiller. Whatever she wants is on. Not again, thank you. Not again. She still get whatever she wants. Talk about it like I'm feeling love. Hit it in the shot. I'm at a time. What's your problem? Basically, you know, they sound good. The power bass speakers itself sound good. Without bass and with bass. So now, once I put this, when I, when I put the other one in, when I install the other one, they should just be together, and you have a nice little setup for um, aftermarket setup. So um, they do play good without the subwoofer. It sounds really good. I can actually play them all and turn the subwoofer down just a little bit, but um, they do sound good though. I just wish I can play some uncopyrighted music right now. It's just I can't because I'm recording. So um, yeah. Now let me show you guys on the driver's side where I'm going to hook up the wires. What you see here, these two white and gray wires, whatever right here. Those are actually from the outline converter that's in here. If you see right there, there's a converter right there. And basically what they did is they took the positive wires from the out, outline converter and put it on the positive and the negative rear speaker wires. So like on the other side, we had a negative wire that was blue and black. Well, on the driver's side, it's going to be black and green. And the positive wire is going to be just that green, solid green wire. And you can see them wrapped around each other there. That's them right there. So my outline converter is actually spliced into my rear speakers, factory speakers which I can't really see how they did that. It looks like they, yeah, they spliced into it. I really appreciate you guys coming to the channel. And um, I do this for fun and entertainment, and I also do it for the for the viewers, man. So you guys who are um, doing this to your car and modding your crews or your Hondas or whatever it is, or whatever car you have that don't have rear deck speakers, just remember when you, when you open that panel on the back, it's gonna be those wires that's like this. What? Sorry, I can't leave you guys like that, man. So I'm putting the tape on here. I just want to make sure you guys do it the right way. I don't want to like leave you guys hanging like, oh, how'd you put the tape on? And you know, some people really don't understand how to do certain things on there. Trust me, I've seen comments from people who just, um, they might miss something or they might skip through the, skip through the video and then ask you a question and without looking at the whole entire video, without looking at the entire video, so. This is the friction tape.
Make sure you secure it in there. Let me make sure you guys see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie it. For right now, I'll just do it like that. Let it hang off that little piece right there. And that's the way it's looking, guys. Mm -hmm.